We are looking at approximating infinite series with their partial sums S sub n. In particular, we have a sum S, and we are going to approximate it by S sub n, the sum k goes from 1 to n. Um, and then there is going to be an error term. This is how far off our approximation is from our actual sum. We're going to call this the remainder, um, and we're going to denote it by R sub n. So for geometric series in particular, since we have a specific formula for S sub n and a specific formula for S explicitly, we can compute R sub n by finding the difference between S and S sub n. So for this example, we are asked for the error involved in approximating the sum k equals 0 to infinity of 3 times 1 half to the, to the k, that should say with s sub 4. All right, so if we want to find this error, we want to find the sum s, the exact value, and then we want to find s sub 4, and then we want to subtract them. So the exact value s, using the formulas given above, um, is given by a, which in this case is 3, divided by 1 minus r. And r in this case is 1 half, so this is going to be 6. S of 4 is given by A again, because it's not in that formula, but we can just pull the A's out front, right? Times 1 minus 1 half to the 4 plus 1 divided by 1 minus 1 half. Now, S of 4, we're going to want to simplify a little bit. So this is um, combining the 3 with the 1 minus a half on the bottom. Just like S, we get a 6. And then that's going to be multiplied by 1 minus 1 half to the fifth. And if we want to simplify that even more, um, we could do that. This would be 6 minus 6 over 2 to the fifth, which is 32. So now if we're looking for our remainder, our remainder, remember, is going to be the difference between our actual sum and our approximation, so s minus s4. So we get 6 minus 6 minus 6 over 32, which reduces to just 6 over 32 as our error. Now, a similar question that we can look at um, when we are considering approximating a sum s by a partial sum s of n plus an error rn, is we can ask ourselves, what is the smallest value we can use for n to keep our error below a certain boundary? So this question is a little bit more complicated. So we're looking at the same sum. Sum k goes from 0 to infinity of 3 times 1 half to the k, um, which is still a geometric series. But now we are being asked, what is the smallest value of n we can use to estimate this sum with an error of less than 1 tenth? All right, so now we need to find a general formula um, that depends on n for our error. So we know that r sub n is going to be s minus s sub n. And we know that s is going to be a divided by 1 minus r, so 3 divided by 1 minus a half, which was 6. We found that on the last slide. Um, minus, and now s sub n in general is going to be our a value, so 3 times 1 minus um, our rate, which is a half, raised to the n plus 1 divided by 1 minus a half. All right, so now we need to simplify this a little bit. So um, the first term is 6, and in the second term we can pull out a 6, and we're left with a 1 minus 1 half to the n plus 1. Um, and then you can actually pull out a 6 from the whole... Equation, equation and we have 6, six times, times the quantity, quantity of 1, one minus, minus 
the quantity, quantity one, one minus, minus the quantity, the quantity one, one half to the, to the n, n plus, plus one. one. All right, and we would like that whole thing to be less than a tenth. So now we need to look at just this inequality. Notice that one half to the n plus one is approaching zero as n gets big. So one minus one half to n plus one is going to one. And so one minus all that is again going to zero. Um, so we have a reason to believe that this should be able to be less than a tenth if we pick the appropriate n. Okay, so let's see if we can figure out what that n is. Okay, so let's first move the 6 to the other side. Um, so we have 1 minus the quantity 1 minus the quantity 1 half to the n plus 1 um, is less than 1 over 60. And then we can combine um, these two ones. And so we're just really left with 1 half to the n plus 1 on this side, needing to be less than 1 over 60. And um, we can distribute this n plus 1 power to the numerator and denominator. So this is 1 over 2 to the n plus 1, less than 60, 1 over 60, which is then um, multiplying both sides by 60, as well as both sides by 2 to the n plus 1. Notice these are both positive. So what we really need is the first power, the, the first n that makes 2 to the n plus 1 bigger than 60. So now we can start thinking about powers of 2. All right, so if n is 0, then this is 2 to the 1, which is just 2. If n is 1, this is 4. 2, this is 8. 3, 16. 4, 32, 5, 64. Okay, 64 is bigger than 60. So if n is bigger than or equal to 5, then r sub n will be less than 1 tenth. And so the n we're looking for is n equals 5. That's the smallest n we can use and have an error of less than a tenth. This type of problem where you're trying to make sure your error is small enough is often what's gets used in applied problems because usually you sometimes know, like, it's okay if I'm off by this much, but more than that, and it's going to mess everything up, and so then you want to approximate to within that value.